Hi, it's the 26th of February, uh, Saturday night. I'm back on the canal again with a boy. Uh, we got up about just before, I think about half past four, wasn't it, mate? Had a right nightmare setting up the rods. Um, every single one came out of the bag tangled. One of the boys came out of tangled. I mean, I to get the baits right on the spot exactly as I want them every time, so I've been recast until it's perfect. Bait out. Um, I'm ready for a beer, to be honest with you, because uh, it's just a bivvy didn't want to go up properly. Everything seems to be a bit of a rush and a panic. Um, I just hope we catch a fish tonight, that's all now. Now, Dad and Daddy took um, one rod out that he didn't mean to get out yeah, I've got three a, times. I've got a four rod set up, and one of them is set up for eel fishing for the summer. And it doesn't mean change back over to, for cart rigs for the winter, because I haven't done a lot this winter. And I've had that bloody rod out of my bag three times when I've been trying to get one of the other ones off. And just... Never mind, anyway. We'll speak to you in a bit. Catch you later, bye. Well, as you can see, it's dark now. It's about 25 past six. Uh, I spoke to you a minute ago, literally. So I just thought I'd come out, show you now. We were just up there last time fishing. Um, and the boy had the one out. So we're down a little bit further now. There's a boat over there where I had one last. Where I've got a bait on that one. I've got a bait sort of out over there, which is back on that rush spot. And then if I pan around, you can't see very well because of the light, but I've got another bait out there. It's a lovely night. There's a nice wind on. Hopefully we should have one. It's been mild all week. for quite a lot of rain, but they do give a dry night, so give a chance for the bivy to dry out from last time, because they didn't have a chance to get it out and dry it out from the last session. We're absolutely hammered down all night. So anyway, I'll sign off for now and catch up with you later. Oh, good morning. Uh, it's half past eight. Been up a few times in the night, but uh, we haven't had no fish yet. Uh, I had a bit of an inquiry on the middle rod off the edge of the wall, but um, didn't come to nothing. So it's been a bit quiet. So if we're going to get a bite, it's going to be this is the sort of time anywhere between now and about 10 o'clock. After that, mm, chances are a bit slimmer, so it's looking a bit like a blank, but. Um, I'll spin the camera around and show you the canal in daylight so you get have a, have a good look. Okay. Just around the corner there is the end where the canal stops. You can see all the barges and that are the sweet brown. And then that's heading off out, out of town. Gear. Got a bait out over there, and another one right opposite that, that pig over there. Some wine. Got one on that bush, one on the end of the wall there, and the third one is up there on them rushes. Behind the boat. Plenty of dog walkers about this morning. All sniffing our boilies. Yeah, they seem to be uh, loving the smell of the bait. I want a new bait on one of my rods. Um, a smoked herring and anchovy. Which I put together out of CC Moore's base mix ingredients and additives. And I'm using on one rod as well, I've got uh, Scopex and Shrimp, which was an <coughs> idea my daughter came up with. And then on um, another rod, I've got a chocolate and maple, which is. No, I haven't actually. 
You've got chocolate and maple on yours, haven't you? Which is what you come up with. Yep. Um, my other rod is a strawberry cream, which is what my other daughter come up with. Uh, but I'll update again before we go. This is going to be quite a short blog, as I, as I say. We're going to take the rough with the smooth. I still do a blog whether we catch or not. So we get a good you get a good idea of how hard it really is up here. You do blank more than you catch, I'm afraid. And if you get a fish, it's usually just the one. Sign off for now. Oh, speaking of it, <clears throat> it's 11 o'clock now on Sunday, 27th. Nothing yet. Um, fat chance of me getting me bivy and that all dried out from last time. Since it's from about nine o'clock this morning, the rain has been absolutely relentless, and everything's soaked right through again. Uh, still optimistic. Before we go, that we might get one. Haven't seen anything move. There's a chap up fishing around a corner. He's had four tench out fishing for tench. It was bizarre in February, but there you go. Um, there's a bit of a wind on again now. It went flat calm last night. It was like a mill pond out there. So, but um, yeah, it's not going to be long, I don't think, now before we have to start packing up, make our way home. But um, yeah, other than that, it's been alright. You've had fun, haven't you, mate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been good, isn't it? It's been alright. It was quite warm last night, so even though it was. A clear sky and I thought we might have even had a frost but cloud cover pushed in kept the frost off and then the rain come with it so it's it. better luck next time eh I'll sign off for now and see you later well that's it for us then for this time um, just starting to pack up now no fish but uh, never know next time we might get some I think the next trip we might not come up here because I do like the idea of the boy catching a few fish, keep him interested and keen. So my um, next blog will probably be on one of the local lakes. So see you then. Bye.